What is up, Dapper Gang, and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm talking about five apps to help you get your life in order. Um, many times I procrastinate a lot on the things I need to do, and I know most of you guys do. If you don't, go you, one of the lucky chosen few. Yeah. It usually depends on people. Sometimes you choose what you think you'll enjoy doing and leave out uh, more important stuff. So I'm going to take you guys through some apps that I use to manage my time and ensure that I get things done. So the apps that I'm going to tell you guys about are on my Android device. I'm currently using the Samsung A5, which you can see here. It's amazing. It's a Samsung mid-range phone. Uh, that came out earlier this year. I've used it for a couple of months now and I absolutely love it. So, if you like the apps that I'll take you through, you can check if they're on iOS, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. So first on my list is Todoist. It's a task management app, honestly one of the best task managers out there. It is perfect for scheduling, prioritizing and organizing your tasks. And one of the best things I love about this app is that it combines natural language technology with smart scheduling. For example, I can just tell it to pick up dry cleaning tomorrow at noon. And there you have it. It figures out what you're trying to tell it and it schedules it and puts it in the app, <laughs> of course. So it's an amazing app, especially for little tasks that you have to do that you might forget during the course of the day or the week. I usually go through it on Monday mornings and just figure out what I want to do through the week and schedule the entire week. Next on my list is seven weeks. We all know that forming habits is a big part of growing as an individual, whether you're trying to break bad habits or form new ones. Doing them over and over helps it ingrain into your system. So what 7 weeks does is that it helps you track your progress and visualize it as you go through. Guys usually say that a new habit usually takes 21 days but to most people that's pretty hard. So what this app does is that it helps you track your progress through uh, 7 weeks which is 49 days. So it's very good to help you track your accomplishments and keep you motivated at, at the same time. As you can see your progress uh, here. Next on my list is Trello. Trello is a collaborative tool that allows you to organize your project into different boards. It comes in handy especially when you're working in a team. In just one glance uh, Trello will tell you what's being worked on, who's working on what in your team and where a certain task is within the process. I use Trello uh, to plan out my content for YouTube, for my blog, and also on the different projects I'm working with my teams. Uh, so what I do, I use Kanban Flow where uh, I subdivide the process into different stages and then like here you can see um, I have the videos that I haven't shot yet, the videos that I'm currently shooting, the ones that I'm editing and the ones that I've already completed. So just visualizing it across the board from left to right helps you plan better and just helps me be more productive as I can see exactly what it is I'm doing and what exactly I haven't done that is due. And the next app on my list is Headspace. For those who haven't heard of it, Headspace is a guided meditation app that allows you to practice mindfulness. I have found that it helps me remain calm in extremely stressful situations or extremely frustrating situations when I'm anxious. It really helps me remain calm and just focus on the things that actually matter. Now the thing about this app, it's, it's a bit pricey but it's for free download and you get the first 10 days for free. After that you can access uh, the other apps via a subscription which is like I think almost a hundred dollars per year yeah I'll confirm and I'll drop a link for those who are interested but if you want just give it a go especially if you're a person who gets affected a lot by the things that are going on in their surrounding it'll help you clear your mind and focus on the things that you should be focusing on there are so many categories of topics uh, in this app. There are foundation, there's health, where things like anxiety and stress fall under. There's relationships, performance, if you want to be more productive. 
and the pro version which has less guided lessons. And finally is Brain Focus. This app is based on a time management method known as the Pomodoro Technique. For those who don't know what the Pomodoro Technique is, it's whereby you split your activity or work into 25 minute intervals. Then after 25 minutes, you take a five minute break. And then after like four consecutive Pomodoros, you take a longer break between 15 to 30 minutes. I usually use this technique whenever I'm pressed on time or I want to complete something that I'm not really so psyched about, something that I'm not really motivated to do, but it has to be completed. So I just shut out 25 minutes of my time, I work on it, then I take a five minute break like, like that until I complete four. So this specific app just uses that uh, concept to help you manage your time better and get more work done in shorter periods of time. A downside to the Pomodoro technique is that sometimes after the 25 minutes you're still so motivated to continue working so you might kick yourself um, off the schedule per se but I don't really follow it religiously I just use it as a guide really so yeah that's about it so guys I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's different from most of the content I put out here uh, but yeah, give it a go, be more productive, get more work done, get your life in order, you know. Time is really a valuable resource, so use it wisely, that's all I can say really. Uh, so if you like this video and if you think you have any ideas or videos that I would do, please drop a link in the comment section if you like what I'm doing, if you think I do something uh, better. I'm always open for constructive, constructive criticism so so yeah like share subscribe i'll see you on the next one peace